have a Nuna Mix 2 here to wash. So it is in pretty filthy condition, like not crazy mold or anything, but it's definitely had a little bit of food eaten in here and there's definitely some dirt and <laughs> stuff like that in here and sand, which is all cool and dandy. So I'm gonna show you how to clean this and make it all beautiful again. So this uh, fabric is actually machine washable by the company that makes the, the pram. So that's a really good start. And we're just gonna like, I'm gonna show you how to take all the covers off so that it doesn't stretch them out. But basically there'll be a bunch of little snaps to get it off. And then we'll chuck it in the washing machine. I'm going to start by taking the hood off. So the hood comes off just here with these two little buttons. You will see them when you're up close to your frame. So press the button, it will slide out. And on the other side, and we're all attached onto the frame of the frame. So there's a lot of snaps that we're going to undo. So one either side, and I think two on the back, and that should have a spring. help support the oh, sorry hood rods that help support the hood oh my gosh that took so long to figure out so there's these little hood rods that I was telling you about and they have these weird little clips on the side and it's normally you press these in but it just wasn't working and so I really just couldn't figure it out I looked on both sides I saw like a tiny little hole and I still didn't think that it did anything so I asked if anyone knew what it was and they come up with the same conclusions. They're like, oh, instead of pushing, why don't you try pulling? So anyways, I ended up getting <laughs> something that fits in this tiny little hole and you have to push outwards and then it will allow this hood rod to come off and then we can slide our hood off. So I will show you this up close because it's a little confusing. So this here is a little hood clampy thing, which is a little difficult to get out, but what you need to do is get something that's gonna fit in here and we wanna prise this open. So I'm just going at the bottom and I'm gonna prise it open, oops, as much as I can. And then I'll lift this piece out. It's a little tricky, like I said. Oh, it's almost out. And there it is, that's how it comes out. So this is a little hole that we need to get through. Alternatively, you can try and poke it from the inside, but I found that this way was a lot easier. And then you can get your hood uh, fabric off that. I'd suggest leaving the one side open so that you don't have to go through this all the way again when you decide to put the frame back together. But you'll know if you leave one side on where it goes and how it goes. Next, the seat. So on the fabric, either side, uh, the belly bar, Button, so we're going to take that off if it wants to come off. Chuck that over there. We're not going to wash it, but I will wipe it down. And the seat is held on by a bunch of snaps. So there's two at the top. For some reason, they were already pulled off. <laughs> so I put them back on. Then there's two on the sides, on the back. We're going to make sure that our harness is going to want to pull through. So let that come through. down there's some more snaps on the sides to allow us to get the harness and uh, the seat fabric the rest of the way out oh, there are actually two little it must be these ones uh like a no it's the outside ones two little uh, i don't know what it's called it's like a seatbelt harness again that's actually in here holding the seat fabric in so we're gonna turn that and slide that to the side and that will go through and now we'll be able to take the seat fabric off and i'll 
and back down to the front. We should almost be out. <laughs> what else have we got? We've got some more of them on the bottom. And then on the front, we've got this piece. It doesn't really need to be unsnapped. This is for the bus in it, I believe. Oh, it does have snaps on it. So we unsnap these pieces here, and then underneath, we unsnap the other two. And other than the harness, in the middle, we should be free to come out. So that should slide off. To remove the strap here, we're just going to have a look at the bottom, and there is like a white clip. Again, we're going to shimmy that through the little hole, and it will set the buckle free. So this buckle piece has actually come out. And then the seat will be free. So we can see all the nooks and crannies that are filled with stuff. And I'm going to chuck that in the washing machine. I also want to take straps out and wash them as well. So again, I'm just turning these little pieces and they come out, which is really a good feature. I really love strollers that you can, or brands that you can um, take these out and wash them. Now I can't do these ones, which really suck, but at least I can wash three out of the five and I'll wipe these ones down. The bottom of the pram here definitely needs some work. It's um, very dirty and full of stuff, but that's okay. And we're gonna get the basket off down the bottom. So the basket has a bunch of snaps along the bottom. So one, two, three snaps on the bottom. And then we've got these weird little hooks. So that has one snap inside. And then on the front, it has these strange, I don't think, oh no. There's three screws across the front. So what I'm gonna do is grab a screwdriver, unscrew them, and I'll be back. Make sure you do not lose the screws because then you won't be able to put your basket back on. before it's like a little slotted thing and then on this side slightly different but there is like a little opening in here that we actually need to press in order to get this clamp off so I'm going to do that It's a little hard to show this, but with the creases, I just got a brush 
and brushed all the crumbs out. I did do it outside, but um, now I'm trying to film, now I'm doing it on the floor. <laughs> when you put it in the washing machine, make sure that you shape it around so that it's gonna get the maximum water all over it and it's not gonna get stuck or <laughs> broken. wipe down nice and clean. I wipe the belly bar, the handlebars, the wheels, everything. And I'm gonna, I, I washed the fabrics and the fabrics have come up really nice, really clean. And I'm gonna put them back on. You can hang them out to dry, but um, I just feel like it doesn't really matter. They're already damp enough that them sitting on the pram, they'll only dry the same. So especially the basket, it's just being held on. So I'm going to put this on. really quickly with the Nuna Mix 2. I bought the pram and then the lady said, oh, by the way, I have like the foot muff at home if you really want that. And I was like, yeah, I'd really appreciate if I could have the foot muff as well. So we met up again and she gave me like this bag and she's like, oh, there's actually <clears throat> some other stuff in there. So in the bag, there was all the paperwork, which was really cool. And also it has a set of capsule adapters for the Nuna capsule. But I believe from when I worked in a baby store that the Nuna and the Maxi can take the same capsule adapters. I don't know if it's like supposed to, but they look very similar in like the design, like this part, kind of like a clip goes under there and holds on. So I'm gonna try that. I'm pretty sure that it will fit though. And then I got like a liner, a black liner, and that zips on to this like, um, foot mark, I don't know. You can see that it zips here. And I've probably got the zipper on the wrong side because I washed it. All of this stuff here just went into the washing machine and I washed it and then I hung it out on the line. So if you want to wash all that stuff, you can. I apologize that I didn't do it before. I just thought it was going to be like a foot muff or a boot cover or whatever this piece is. But then it came with the liner and then the strap covers. And I'm pretty sure this is a different pram strap covers. I have no idea what pram this is though. I believe these are the strap covers. I know it says Nuna on it. <laughs> so I'm going to put all of that stuff on the pram.
Man, that was a pain. <laughs> I had to, for down here, take this all the way out. So there's like a little white clip top and bottom. I had to fully take that out and then it just didn't want to go back in. But once I got it in, I really like it with the liner. It's like so squashy. Like there's so much padding there. I feel like this would be so comfortable, which I think is awesome. And it just looks like nice and I don't know. The strap covers have like a little piece of elastic in the back of them as well. So that they actually won't move because when I put the strap covers on, can't even open them off. They're just two snaps. But when I put the strap covers on, see there's like an elastic right here. I put it over the first, um, whatever this thing is, so that it actually can't fall down and then that just snaps back up. So that won't move, which is good because sometimes they can be really annoying. But they are rather large strap covers. So I'm not sure how that would go. But that's all I wanted to show you was all those bits. I'm not gonna put the boot cover on, but I just wanted to show you that I had those pieces as well. So if you wanna um, wash them pieces, just chuck them in the washing machine as well. We hope that you enjoyed watching this video and learning out how to wash and clean your Nuna Mix 2. And if you did enjoy this video and if it did help you figure out how to wash your brand, please give this video a, a thumbs up. And if you haven't already joined my channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you on my next videos. Bye. Did you say goodbye, Carly? Carly, you didn't say goodbye. Say bye.